want to educate and change. If somebody's got something wrong, I need to fix it. Right, right, right. I love that, man. I love that. You know, you're just so big on education. Um, I'm not going to keep you much longer. I had a few more questions and then we'll be done. Um, this is this is one in a lifetime chance right here. So I got to ask this, man. This is another hot seat question. It's going to make you think. Steve, if Steve Irwin was alive right now, you can ask him one thing. What would it be? Well, you know, I was friendly with Steve Irwin. You, sh you shut your mouth. Yeah. I work with Steve Irwin. You can find, if you go look, I was on Conan O'Brien with Steve Irwin. I was Fox and Friends multiple times with Steve Irwin. I was on uh, Kat, Regis and Kathy Lee with Steve Irwin. I was um, Good Morning, I think it was Good Morning America. We did all sorts of different stuff. So I was providing animals for Steve. And um, then I later on, I was working with Terry and Bindi and then Robert. And uh, one of my guys that I trained went and worked for the Australia Zoo for seven years and was the fourth person in, in up at the top. So, no, I knew Steve Irwin. So if you probably went and looked up Conan O'Brien, Steve Irwin, um, Green Anacondas, you'd probably be able to find it. There's a video and you'll see I'm, I'm, I'm there with Steve Irwin. I'm his uh, snake handler and uh, Fox and friends, big alligator. That's Wally. And Steve's playing with that. And Rhino iguanas. Uh, he was playing with a bulldozer. Um, so I knew Steve. So, you know, I, I would, I would talk to him. So you can ask me about him. I can tell you about him. Um, he was significantly wonderful. And he was one of the best friends of animals, certainly reptiles, because he caused people to pause and have empathy and consider something that the general world has no value for or the, the world is terrified of or hates or whatever and he caused people to be fascinated and to think that maybe that animal isn't what they think and um what really hurts me is uh when steve Irwin passed which was in october i was set to do um he was coming to the to the states and he was starting a, a tour where he was going around with these animals and I was going to get to be part of this. And it was going to start in Madison Square Garden on New Year's Eve. And I was scheduled to, to be with, you know, Steve on, you know, on New Year's Eve in Madison Square Garden with a bunch of my nerd animals because the nerd animals were the backdrop animals for a bunch of the stuff he was doing. And that was the event and he died. And, you know, it, it's heartbreaking, obviously, as you probably can imagine on a, a multitude of different levels. And after he passed, I still worked with Bindi and Terry and they're very wonderful, but it's, you know, it's, um, it's always, it's never going to be the same. Never, never. It's, uh, it, it's actually heartbreaking, you know? Right, right, right. So what would I ask Steve? I'd ask Steve to, to, uh, what would I ask him? I would ask Steve, um, how he thinks we can probably, how he thinks we can save this, pl the, this planet's animals i love how that. how can we get people to for once step aside from all of their own self interest and think that we need to share this planet with these other animals because these animals are all going away they're going away so quickly and it's it saddens me to hear myself say that and it's like 